Hola y buenas tardes. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will, you're watching the Iron Will vlog, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. Now this week I have been in Spain, so it's been a bit of a holiday for me, uh, although I have been doing some running, uh, but just a really nice escape from regular life, have a week off. So Monday, for me, I finally made it to my long run. I've been meaning to do it for ages. So I ran out to the Casa del Campo, which uh, I had mentioned in my previous vlog, which is this ginormous park. And I went out before it was, you know, when it was really dark, it was like 5.30 a.m. and just ran. So I did about three hours. And in that three hours did about 28 kilometers. So that's fairly decent. So considering I was in Kung Fu slippers and the paths are all gravel. So there was rocks everywhere and it was dark and I couldn't see anything. So I couldn't see when I was about to stand on a rock and it really hurt a lot of times. So it's, that's probably the definition of painfully slow is my run on Monday. Uh, rather painful and rather slow. And then for the rest of Monday, I took it a bit easy. So I went to a couple of museums. I went to the Sofia and the Prado. So the Sofia is kind of like the modern art museum. And then the Prado is more of the classical art museum. So it's older art and a lot of Spanish art. So I saw a lot of artists that day. There was Picasso, there was Rembrandt, there was El Greco. Uh, too many to name off. I don't know them that well, but I do appreciate the art, um, even if I don't recognize it. <laughs> Tuesday was a pretty easy one for me. I didn't actually do too much. Uh, that was the day that I went out again to Casa de Campo and filmed my video about jet lag. And then Tuesday night I managed to get out to a flamenco show. If you're in Spain, it's a great idea to see flamenco. Wednesday was a pretty decent day. I did uh, Segovia and Toledo. So I took a tour group, IBE tours, which they were great. Uh, they picked me up from in the middle of Madrid. We drove out to Segovia. We did a walking tour of Segovia, which was amazing. If you ever get to go to Segovia, of course, you've got to look at the aqueduct. That thing is amazing. 2000 years old. And there's the Alzacar in Segovia, which unfortunately is a recreation it burnt down apparently a while ago, so they had to remake it. But still an amazing place to go and visit. Uh, then we traveled to Toledo, which uh, used to be the capital of Spain, but then they moved from Toledo to Madrid. Uh, so it's more sort of in the center of Spain and they could expand a lot more. Um, but Toledo is, Again, an amazing old city. It's preserved in time. Thursday, I did a walking tour of Madrid. So that's one of the, the with my hostel that I'm staying at. There's Wolves Tours. They're pretty good. A classical walking tour and a modern walking tour. So I did on a Thursday, the modern walking tour, which takes you through all of the new sections of Spain uh, that were constructed by Charles III. One of the great things about going and seeing a new city is seeing the sights. So one of the best ways to do that is to get a tour. Uh, Cause then you don't have to kind of figure out which sites you need to see. They will take you to the best sites. So we went and did a, a tour of the modern part of Madrid. That was awesome. Uh, and then that evening I went for a run through El Retiro Park. That was a really nice park, but a really hot day. Decided to go for a run in El Retiro Park here in Madrid, but it's like 36 degrees Celsius. Fuck, it's so hot. Probably not the best time to go for a run. Oh well. And then Friday, so that's today, my last day in Spain. Unfortunately, it's come way too fast. Uh, so today I did the classical walking tour of Madrid, which I really should have done the classical walking tour on my first day. Gotta say, uh, if you are new in a city 
and you have the option of doing a walking tour or something like that, I definitely recommend doing it first because then you can figure out where you would like to go back and visit. And also they can recommend cheap places to eat and all of that. So like they recommended today, the museum or Museo del Yamon, which I've got to say, that's the cheapest place I've gone to eat since I've been here. And it is amazing. They've got some amazing ham, uh, properly cured ham. Uh, and the beer is so cheap as well. So for under five euros, you get this ham sandwich and a half a liter of beer. So good. And so now it's 6 p.m. today. I'm getting picked up from outside my hostel, being taken to the airport. I fly out at about 10 p.m. Uh, then all of Saturday is written off because of course I'm gonna be on a plane and then this weekend uh, I'm gonna do this vlog a little bit early because I'm gonna do a special vlog on Sunday That is the day of city to surf in Sydney Which I'll be running in a lion dance costume uh, and I'm gonna be landing in Sydney at 6 a.m So I've got to get out of the airport get picked up Go home drop my bags off grab my lion dance costume go into the city and then start running pretty much as soon as I get there. It's gonna be an awesome fun day. <laughs> I'm gonna be absolutely dead tired by the end of it, but it's totally gonna to be worth it. And I am fundraising for this event. I'm running on behalf of the Australian Cancer Research Foundation, and I'm running the event in the lion dance costume in memory to my Kung Fu Sifu, Sifu Randy Sullivan Bennett at the Australian Jalga Kung Fu Academy. Now, if you would like to donate, if you do have a couple of spare dollars and you can donate, then that would be amazingly appreciated. You just need to go to jalgar007.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And yeah, any donations are extremely appreciated. So that'll be on Sunday. That'll be a great day. Uh, also, next week is the world premiere of the Run Nation Film Festival. So this is an event that started about five years ago. It's the fifth ev uh, year that it's been happening. So yeah, five years ago. Uh, and it's the world premiere in Sydney. So at the George Street Cinemas in Sydney City. And if you would like to attend, uh, I've got a special code that you can use and I thoroughly recommend it. Uh, it's Iron Will 2019. Again, I'll leave links in the description box below. And this event is amazing. It's full of films about runners so people who've had inspiring stories or motivational things or they've overcome challenges or obstacles and it's just such a great night to attend and of course since i'm back in australia i am going to be trying to run a lot more often uh, now over this last two weeks i did have a lot of achilles issues but what i did find is that, that was probably caused by not doing my strengthen strengthening exercises. So the exercises that were recommended to me by my podiatrist, uh, especially the eccentric drop, I wasn't doing those to begin with and I wasn't doing my foam rolling. You do the exercises, it, it doesn't take that long. <laughs> Find the time. Now there were two things that I expected to happen that didn't actually happen. So as I said last week, I was gonna try and get to the pub crawl, but I just didn't find time. Uh, instead, there was a nice little festival just around the corner from where my hostel was. So I went there a couple of nights and had a couple of drinks, had some nice food, enjoyed the festivities. But I never actually got to go to the pub crawl. Maybe I'm getting older. And the other thing was sunburn. So normally when I go away for summer and other places during summer, I'll get some sort of horrific sunburn. But this time, I managed to actually put sunscreen on every single day and I didn't actually end up getting sunburnt. Well, not yet. Today's not over yet. So yeah, as I said, there was a festival just around the corner from my hostel. It was dedicated to some saint, I don't know whom, uh, but it was in the El Rastro area or uh, La Latina area. Uh, and they had food trucks, they had drinks, they had entertainment. So there were bands playing, there was music. Uh, it was just an awesome night. Uh, so that's of throughout pretty much the whole week, I believe. Uh, maybe longer. It's been going for the last few days anyway, since Monday. And I went to that a couple of times and it was really good fun. There was one point where they were pushing 
along this big statue of, I'm guessing, the saint. And then all of a sudden, once they reached the top of the hill, they all stopped and these kids got up on top of the statue and started throwing roses out at the uh, people around and people were really excited to catch the roses and once you know someone caught a rose they would run back to their family all excited I had no clue what was going on but it looked really fun anyway it's starting to get windy here in Casa de Campo today uh, and I've got to start heading back to go get my car so thanks for watching if you want to check out that video I did about jet lag I'll leave a link up here if you want swim bike run and exercise content every week from well, this week here in Spain and regularly from in Australia, from Sydney, Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.